Fritz Westover with Westover Viticulture, and I'm standing in a vineyard in West Texas with a Sangiovese grape variety that's about 80 to 90 percent through verasion, which means the color change is occurring in the grapes, and we're getting closer to harvest and to berry sampling for ripeness. So come on in closer. I want to share with you something, another thing we can do in the vineyard to help improve uniformity and quality. Earlier in the season, uh, the crew went through and dropped some fruit in this vineyard to get rid of the excessive crop load. We were aiming for about three and a half to four tons an acre. But if you notice, now that we're getting through color change, some of these clusters are still very hard and green, and they're still behind and ripening. So what I'd like to do is, is share a method you could use for thinning fruit out late in the season that's going to help with uniformity of the crop. So we've got some fruit up here that's relatively ripe. We've got a few clusters here that are still hard and green. If you pass through around 80 to 90 percent through verasion, you could really see which clusters are lagging. If you wait until you're closer to harvest, these green clusters may start to change color and it's more difficult to, to find those clusters that are behind and ripeness. So now we can go through pretty easily, grab those clusters that are mostly green and remove those from the vineyard. And what we can do is we can keep the clusters on the larger shoots that are uniform. Now there could be many reasons for these clusters to be lagging behind. If you notice this cluster was on a very short shoot and oftentimes there isn't a lot of photosynthetic activity on a short shoot so the clusters lag behind. Another thing that can happen, this does happen unfortunately, is sometimes a hedger or a person who's trimming can cut off the, the shoots that are sticking out in the aisles and therefore there's no leaf area to ripen that fruit so it stays green and hard. So these are the obvious targets we're going to hit for removing fruit and the idea is not that we're going to make the fruit ripen faster that's remaining, the idea is that we're going to make the fruit that's ripening more uniform and hopefully improve wine quality.